long time. Yeah! Did you guys have those on ice? Good morning. The second I do my good morning, Dad, with the drill. Uh, there it is again. Good morning, guy. Out here at Newcastle, sunny day. Should be great weather again for these. Is this the fourth KRA? Is this KRA four? I don't know. One of the one of the first trimester. <laughs> We are out here for the next round of KRA uh, racing. Casey and Dad will be racing today. Regan and myself will be passengers. The fun thing about today is we came to an agreement a while ago, Regan and I did, that she could cut my hair. What was even the reasoning? Why did I say you uh, could? I got you a present. Oh, she got me a present, and but it was like, you can't open it. And I was like, no, let me open it. Anyway, the only reason I, the only way I could convince her to let me open it today versus like in the future, she was saving it, um, was if I said, okay, you can cut my hair, because she's wanted to do that. So, basically, today, this, and I have not cut it intentionally for this day. It looks pretty bad, but um, <laughs> Regan is going to cut my hair with- Attempt to. Well, yeah, we're gonna DIY it. So it should be a fun day. We've got the squigglies. We've got the, the oval part of the track. Dad and Casey are, I don't know, well, Casey's been pretty quick. Dad's been dad. <laughs> Anything you'd like to add, Regan? Uh, good morning, and I can't wait to cut your hair. <laughs> that's all. I think that's the first time she's spoken on camera, so. You're welcome, a treat. And without a tortilla. And yeah, without, without, a tortilla. Without, an, without an empty tortilla. <laughs> so last year, uh, we had these shiny Braille art carts and like first race it just got destroyed with tire marks right just looked terrible cart was fine just aesthetically looked terrible and it got progressively worse throughout the year which is just the result of the hard you know close racing of the lo206 um so our buddy chuck 
uh, gave me a tip about some you know, like helicopter tape is what they call it. And uh, so I've got that on here. It's like this uh, thin film, right? It's on here. And I didn't, I, I didn't have enough, so it doesn't cover the whole thing, right? My first tire mark is where, here's where the tape ends, right? Tape ended. That's a tire mark. Are you kidding me? Of all places, the one little section. What a beautiful day for a go-kart race. Having a lot of fun here at Newcastle. We had a great time yesterday practicing and then sitting around and chatting in the evening. And it looks like a great day for a race. I'm not, you know, I'm not superstitious, but like they, like the saying goes, I, I am a little stitious. And so this morning's walk, I'm actually going the opposite way, hoping that the result will be better luck for Casey this weekend. And uh, it's funny because yesterday he was just incredibly fast. We've got the new beautiful AM29s from Burrell and, and they, were, they were terrific and he was really making it go. And at the end of practice, the boys are always getting on me for uh, not making too many changes to my cart. And so afterwards, when Casey was so fast, he says, Dad, you gotta go with this setup. So, in an act of blind faith, I had him put it on there, and I literally this morning could not keep that cart on the track. So, either he's a much better driver, his driving style's a lot different, but whatever that means, not everything translated to the old man. We'll go get him anyway. As soon as the tortilla, as soon as she starts eating that tortilla, had to, had to get it on there. It wouldn't be a stall racing vlog featuring Regan without a tortilla. A, just a lone tortilla, nothing in it at all. Also, mom's up and awake now. Just waiting on the little fella and Sarah. That had to be a call. And I guess Maddie will be here. Mm -hmm. That had to be something you picked up in college. I no? just love tortillas. She, anything with breads or carbs? Much like everyone. I love to get like a slice of bread and put it in the microwave and just warm it up. <laughs> but she doesn't. She she Not doesn't eat. It. She doesn't eat it either. She just likes to watch the bread oh, okay. get warm. <laughs> Is there anything you do like, Crisp? No. <laughs> I guess I like soggy. Like not soggy. You want a soggy like apple? Fries. No, I do like crisp apple. Okay. What, crisp? what about cereal? Grapes. I, usually, I do. I don't even put milk in my cereal. That's right, you don't. <laughs> yeah. so, pretty much anything regular, I do the opposite. So we're catching you guys up on, basically you've known us for five years and we're trying to get that same level of experience with Regan here in like two minutes. So now you know Regan's eating habits, I guess. I want to show you guys something. Our buddy Sam here just showed me. Sam, walk us through what happened. And what, what am I looking at right here? Well, tire. That's a tire? And what is this guy right here? The actual Sam, they came off. So Sam's out there running. He's about to come in for practice and this guy literally just snaps, right? I mean, look at that thing. It just snaps while he's out there on track. He didn't get in a wreck or anything. He's just driving the wheels off literally of his car. I just had to get that, man. That's crazy. But look at this. Oh wait, this isn't the same car. It already has a new axle in, but no. That's crazy. Tell him to, tell him to tone it down a little bit out there. Just dangerous. Whew. I mean, that's a, he's in, what is that, Junior Sportsman, the class, I think, below, above kid carts, whatever's above kid carts, and he's snapping that thing off, that's insane. Casey, I noticed you're, you're installing the video mount on the 34. Is that not the most important piece of equipment for our vlog to succeed? It is, it is the single, well, no, the single most important is holding the, the camera right now. Yeah, well. Ben would argue that. Well, Ben would argue and that. We, and, and, that and we think you're the silent favorite behind the scenes and everybody. Point, yeah. You're right. No, yeah. it's me. Yeah, it is you. Yeah, no. No. Yeah. But, but race, race footage from the 34 just about keeps critical. people riveted. It does. There's nothing if more only, exciting than mid-pack racing. If only it could have been on for qualifying. Yeah. Yeah, that was exciting. I need to... <laughs> So qualifying's over. It didn't go quite as well as I'd hoped. Uh, qualified 21 out of 26, and that's probably the truth until I can and get better. And I'm searching for ways right now to get better. 
that's probably going to be where I'm at. Uh, this class is deep with people that are better than me. And uh, I found some speed in the second practice that I was very excited about. And uh, instead of gaining the quarter of a second I wanted, I lost a quarter of a second. I spun on my last lap, uh, kind of in an area, caught me by surprise, carried out a little wide, and uh, there was a lot of rubber out there and just went around. And I think I had a pretty good lap going there. Uh, not enough to go from 21 to 1, but uh, maybe to go from 21 to 20. So we're not going to fret too much about it. I just don't want to make that mistake in the race. And, um, you know, we'll go. Ready to go. What are we going to go tell Dada? Dada's going to race. He's going to race. We're going to say good luck, Dada. Good luck, Dada. Oh, that'll be so nice. Yeah? Uh-huh. You have lightning with you? Is Dada going to be fast like lightning? Uh-huh. Qualifying is over. Uh, got P2. Uh, the car has been just excellent. We got some bubbles going on here. Still two. 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 You want Mama is it holding? Come on, Ace. I think it's going to hold. So P2, I'm excited guys. The cart is, it's great. It's like, it's on point. Um, so just gotta play a little smart in the race. Hopefully, hopefully uh, push away with, with one other cart, maybe maybe a second cart, just a small pack that we can just push away and uh, save the battling until the end. Um, I say that now and watch my video. I'm gonna be the one throwing it in every lap, trying to, trying to race, but uh, pretty excited there's there's some potential there and uh gonna see what i can make of it bubbles what's uncle ben gonna do haircut we're gonna start with the, the biggest because i don't know how <laughs> so you want to go short ben well i don't know You're, she's in charge of the whole thing i've I have no idea. I'm giving her literally all the power here. Really? Brandon, you've got all the power? I've got all the power. She you can draw. Do reverse mohawk is? She can draw. Do you know? Whatever That's... she wants. A reverse mohawk. Okay, so basically, for those of you guys at home who are wondering what's going on, Regan's going to cut my hair and she literally, she has whatever say she wants. Have you done this before? No. What? I, I, I like trimmed Hold on, do we brothers. have something I could like? I know. Work? Do we have a carding jacket? I have a jacket that like is No, the one of the cart covers. <laughs> <laughs> so we now have my cart cover, or a cart cover on here. She's legitimately cutting my hair right now. Oh, oh there it goes, it's flying in the wind. <laughs> Seems like a lot, Ben. I don't know. You won't have much left. There's nothing to worry about. Now it's practically a nurse. Yeah. So that means I can cut it. Yeah, <laughs> Regan, it's worth noting, cut. Regan is not a cosmetologist. She's a nurse. Yeah. I have shaved a lot of old men in the nursing home, though. <laughs> Thank you well, for giving me that. that's really reassuring. Are we going to make awkward social talk while we do this, like, normal so, trips in? So, what's your job? <laughs> Got any big plans for the weekend? <laughs> How about this COVID? Uh. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna need to go to a shorter one now. For what? <laughs> you didn't even, you just like, hey, random spots on my head. You got all the same. You, yeah. said, <laughs> you yeah. said, exactly. I know exactly what I'm doing. Moving, Ben. Did you get scissors? Quit moving. She's using scissors. Why do you look like you're in pain? Uh, I you would, start cutting you. You know what, Maddie, why don't we let Regan cut your hair next and we'll see what you look I like. Do. Well, I think we're winding up here, winding down. Give a full head tour. Yeah, do it. And uh, I'm sure you guys are probably gonna have comments and stuff. And let me know. You're tearing to me. But just and know me. when you <laughs> yeah. tear into me, you're really just tearing into Regan. So it's so still be, wet. So be smart with how you do it. This is the only thing I'm I'm worried about. So now we might we might go into this Beard's later. <laughs> Finley, is Grandpa racing? No, I know mom. Yeah, Grandma's Grandpa's racing right now. No, and no one. Yeah, he's right there. Oh, we're gonna see him come around in a minute. His go karts out there. You can pick him out. No, no, yeah. no one. 
Yeah, no one's out there right now. You're right. No one. Here, wait. They're coming. See him? Oh, wait, that's not a cart. This one. You think that's one? It looks kind of. See him? There they are. There they are. There all the go go's go. So go say go, Grandpa. Go, Grandpa. Ha <laughs> ha. Is he going to be fast like lightning? Uh -huh. Race wrap up. Pretty uneventful, except for the start. Had a little excitement there. Dodged a wreck. I started 21st, I finished 18th, I didn't pass anybody, there was some carnage. Um, I don't think I even got passed after the first lap, just ran by myself. go do some work I mean it just I should have been should have been a little bit better than I was today so we'll come back at it and uh, let's see if we can't improve next time out ah guys dad's race just finished I feel terrible he was starting at the back and uh, I, I really pushed a different setup in fact the same setup I'm running uh, and, you know, I don't think that was the right decision at all. He really struggled with it because it's, it's different, right? It's going to be a lot more free and it's not something he was used to. So I think I got to take the blame for that. We're going to change things up for this uh, post race. And we're going to change it because I'm actually happy. <laughs> so I started second in that race and uh, immediately fell into second after the first turn uh and uh the guy in front of me ryan ryan and i just worked together and we pushed pushed away For 11 laps, just sat behind Ryan, pushing him, and we were able to build a nice gap behind us. And then uh, he did all the hard work, you know, leading, he did a great job. And I was testing it uh, pretty much every lap to see where I could pass him, and uh, decided to do it on the final straightaway. And so, coming out of the last hairpin, uh, I kind of backed out a little more than normal, a little, braked a little bit earlier. And that gave me a nice run up to him. <clears throat> and he took the inside, I went outside, drag race to the finish.
Got my first win in a long time. Yeah! Yeah! Did you guys have those on ice? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, we're not on ice. Did it look sketchy all your family is standing around you? <laughs> you know, well, I saw bingo, Maddie. <laughs> That took me. <laughs> that one was a little warmer. Thank you, honey. I appreciate that. Oh man. Uh, yeah, got the uh, got the first win in a long time. Oh, it felt good. I went a year without a win. That's very frustrating. Can't thank everyone here enough. It was awesome. This cart right here, man, just amazing, right there. And these boys, Ghost Racing, guys, thank you. It just, no one out there had better power. No one out there had a better cart or better power. It was just, it was phenomenal. All weekend, I'm very happy. Gonna have, uh, well, I'm gonna grab a towel and dry off, and then <laughs> go home, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a steak dinner tonight. Uh, that's kind of my tradition if after I win is have a steak dinner so steak dinner tonight okay case don't have many turns left this is it your time to shine you can do it we believe you think he's just gonna like drag race him I don't think so either but it looks like that's our only option at this point get him case Go! Go! Ah! He's totally got it. Woohoo! Yes! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that feel good? <laughs> Dada got number one. He did it. He no, won. He was Dada. the fastest. Say go, Dada. No? No love for Dada? Dada? Some hardware. Can you show number one? No. No? You don't think so? This is the final. Regan's made a couple updates. I've also been wearing a hat all day. Not because I didn't like it. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ben. Can you give him a sticker? It's in the back. Yellow. You see, second place comes over here looking for stickers for speed. All right, so Casey, obviously, you you know by now, one, he drove a heck of a race. Ryan is actually the guy right over there talking to him, who Ryan um, led 11 laps of that race. He literally did all the hard work, and Casey just, you know, takes all the credit for it. But I, I just wanted to say, um, Ryan, Corey, and Rob, also, uh, the other, the, and maybe Kate, after that, I don't know. Top five, all you guys, um, great job. But huge shout out to Corey. Um, haven't talked about him as much, but I wanted to do a whole thing with him. I just forgot, time ran short, you know. Um, Corey, yeah, exactly. Corey uh, came from out of town, came here in his second time ever, and was doing really solid in the CIK race, um, and then came in third, third, I think is where he finished, maybe fourth. I don't know, Rob and him were neck and neck. Uh, but I think he got third here in the sports class. So great job by Corey, obviously. Um, He's been trying to get me out to Mid-State for a while, so, I uh, Mid-State, I mean, he has, but uh, Gateway for a while, so for one of their Super Comp series. So I may come out of my retirement at some point for that, we'll see. Um, but just a heck of a job by everybody else, kind of in that top crew. Ryan, heck of a job, man. I mean, I said it to you then, but you deserve a lot of credit for Casey's win, and then Corey and Rob, as always, great job, guys. So. Great job by everybody. So we're almost home. Thank you everyone for watching. It was a great weekend. Uh, you know, Dad, feel bad. Took my advice. Didn't have the best result because of it. Uh, but the, uh, to get a win after so long, it, it was very sweet. And they say it takes a village to raise a kid. And this, this win took a village too. Uh, I couldn't have done it without everyone. It was great to have my wife Sarah there and, and Finley. It's a great weekend. So thank you everyone for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time. <laughs>